Hey guys, welcome back down to the bush. Of course, behind me we've got our beautiful bush road now. It's a fire break. I'm calling it a road because, let's be honest, it pretty much is. And I have got some information regarding this road. But first, just take it in. Enjoy its beauty. I don't know. Obviously, the Lorax wasn't here when the um, excavators came through to demolish this, unfortunately. But it is what it is, and hey, at the end of the day, it stops bushfires spreading. That's a good thing. I do wonder what happens to it, you know, all the wildlife in there. That's a bit of a concern, but out of my control. And today I'm going to be kind of updating on this and kind of just taking a look around and enjoying the bush for what it is, because with what I'm about to tell you guys, it might not be here for much longer. It's so weird looking out from the pond area now, because this used to just be bush, and now there's a... Oh, I can't even... Oh, yeah, beautiful partners here. Hi. I can't recognize the place, pretty much. Um... Okay, then, that's concerning. <laughs> Monkey. But, yeah, this... I can barely recognize things out here. I... It's... Incredible. What are you doing over there? Who knows? We are all concerned. But yeah, the bush, barely recognizing it now. But you see, you've got our path here, you've got this side, and you've got this side. Now, and sorry that it's a bit dark, it is getting winter and all. You know, winter being, it just gets dark quicker. Usually it'd still be bright out, but hey, this is what I've got to work with, with my schedule. So I hope you guys don't mind with that. But as you can see, two sides of the path here. We have got this side, which has my bush encampment. We've got this side, which has this big, beautiful bush area. It's lovely, really. It's, it's real nice, isn't it? Because take it all in. Take it all in. Enjoy it. Enjoy how it all looks. Because this is where I'm going to break some news. It's all going to be gone. See all these trees, beautiful plant life, just through here? It's all going to be gone. Because I found out... And still, I'm not 100% sure this is going to be what actually happens here, but I'm like 90% sure. But what they're going to do is they're not just going to burn the edges of this thing. They're going to burn down this entire chunk of the bush. Now, you may remember how last episode we went on a walk around the entire track, and it basically does one big loop. Essentially, what they're doing is everything inside the big loop, all of this is going to be gone. It's going to be reduced to ashes. Meaning, basically, my bush encampment here is going to be just a small pocket of bush amongst a field of ash and blackness. It's kind of eerie to think about that. The bush I've resided in for nearly two years now is going to be gone. Just like that. Just erased. It's quite sad to think about, really. And don't have much time left before that happens. It could be this weekend for all I know. This could be the last time I look out this way and see the bush for the glory that it is. It's quite upsetting, really, it, it is. And there's a lot of stuff that I've also kind of done in this area that's going to be erased, like me and Beautiful Partners' little side series shelter, that's going to be completely destroyed. Not even, hasn't even been out for a month that series and it's going to be destroyed. Now the old hut area will be fine, it's just sitting on the edge. But all of this side will be gone. It will be no more. Looking out here in the future, you'll be able to see right through to the other side. Because it will just be ash. And that to me is just really weird. Because I am struggling to memorize how this place was before this giant road was put through it. I'm struggling to remember how it used to be, and I miss how it used to be. So whenever this fire thing happens, this will all be gone. However, that does mean that my storage tent should be completely fine along with my pond, meaning I shouldn't have to move anything, thankfully. Anyways... I will hopefully get a little tour in of the bush before it's all burnt down. I would like to do that and say my farewell. So hopefully 
I get the time to do that and I want to do that in broad daylight but it's hard to find a time at the moment but hopefully I can do that soon because I love to go for one last big walk through that area of the bush and just see everything just record it and just remember it because soon enough it will be gone but yeah, yeah sorry this video has just been mostly me talking and updating I hope you guys don't mind that that's kind of what this series has become now I'm just kind of updating on things but we will be taking some action soon enough but if you guys don't mind these I guess just kind of commentary update videos um, along with the other I guess buildy stuff let me know because that's going to be a bit of that for a while but I'm hoping for the next bush life episode we can go on that big walk and see the bush one last time in its full glory and then we just have to wait for whenever it all gets burnt away thanks for watching this little update here and yeah I'll see you guys back in the bush another day farewell